Hey everybody, this week, college football week two is history. And the highlight games were, well, let's start with Notre Dame taking on Michigan. The second year quarterback, Jimmy Clausen versus the freshman, Tate Forcier. Who? Tate Forcier, who? Well, Tate Forcier actually won the game, but you know, all kidding aside, I wanna say one thing. First of all, Jimmy Clausen is a fantastic passer. Yeah, he was fantastic in high school. He had flashes of brilliance last year, but this year he's flat out brilliant. But there's a problem. And the problem is, as I said before, Notre Dame doesn't have the talent that its fans think it has to be able to reach the BCS title game. If Notre Dame were that team, quote, that team, they would have steamrollered Michigan. Instead, Michigan came out in the third quarter and did something that proved to really be the tone setter for Saturday's college football games. They ran the football. In fact, they ran the football down Notre Dame's throat on that opening drive of the third quarter to score. And they took the lead 24-20. to they ran the belly option out of the spread system and they stuck with it. They stuck with it. They got rid of the idea they had to pass to keep up with Notre Dame. Uh, first of all, I want to say that yes, Jimmy Clausen's an excellent quarterback. No, Notre Dame's not quite there yet. And I think I'm going to hold my prediction firm and say six wins for Notre Dame. Everyone that I listened to pointed to the Michigan-Notre Dame game as the only tough game on Notre Dame's schedule, and they lost. I look at it a different way. It was the game that Notre Dame pointed to to say, you know what, if we win this, we're back, and there's no stopping us. Instead, they're not, they lost it, and it's going to psychologically harm them for the rest of the season unless they win, win, win the next three games. They can't walk into Washington about three weeks from now and think that's going to be a cakewalk just because they have a new coach. Steve Starkeesian came from USC, which has routinely beat Notre Dame and may have their number this time. We'll see. Now, let's talk about that other great game, USC versus Ohio State. Congratulations to, uh, I hate saying this, the Trojans. Yeah, you won, okay? You're ranked number three in the country, you played number eight, you won, barely. But again, what helped another freshman, another freshman, Matt Barkley, win that game was SC's strong running attack in what? The second quarter. On that amazing 16 play, 16 play, six minute drive that was mostly runs with John McKnight carrying the ball. And SC basically just ground down the Ohio State defense. And also revealed something else about Ohio State. Ohio State doesn't know how to throw. That's right. They don't have a disciplined passing game. So that when they have to operate a two-minute drill, they just fall apart. And that's essentially what happened. Oh, and by the way, Cal won 59-7 to against Eastern Washington. Folks were steamrolling people. 59-7, to 52 before that. Watch out. The Golden Bear is coming. So... In closing, this week was the week that two freshmen emerged, and it was also the week that we discovered that, hey, the running game in college football still matters.